Just got the M2 a couple of days ago and I'm going straight to Thailand. Look at this guy. He thinks he's entitled to this parking spot. <laughs> You shouldn't be bringing cars with very low clearance. I don't know if YouTube will ban me from this, but... Hey guys, before the video starts, I want to give a big shout out to my sponsor, Expel Malaysia. I believe in keeping my car looking the best because it makes me feel great and it inspires me to drive it more often. To do so, I use Expel's Ultimate Plus paint protection films and Expel's Prime window tints on my cars. I recently drove my new M2 competition 2000 km to Thailand and back and I had zero stone chips because of the PPF and I felt super comfortable and confident all the time because Expel's prime window tins blocks out the hot sun and UV radiation as well. Now if you're looking for the best protection for your car and yourself, check out Expel's Malaysia's page and visit their newest headquarters in PJ. I'll drop the link in the description below for more information. With that, please enjoy this video. Hey guys, do you know where I am right now? It looks like a forest. No, no, it is a, it is a petrol station. Amazon coffee. Look at that. The amount of renovation effort they do. Wow. It's worth stopping for. Look, you can, you can go and sit over there and have your coffee. Look at that. Oh my God. The effort they do create the ambience of Amazon Forest. I mean, I don't know how Amazon Forest looks like, but hey, I'm telling you that they, they really put effort in. Now, something really cool about Thai petrol stations is they have a lot of f and outlets and amenities. So let's check this out. The 7-Eleven is huge over there. And then you have this little bakery that is going to open up soon. All right. Um, it looks like duck rice or chicken rice. It's even Amazon. Oh, hi, kitty cat. Hello. This is Thailand for you guys, man. It's worth stopping and you want to stop. Good morning, everybody. Morning. Uh, morning, morning. Yeah. Hey, check out Suresh. Hey, hey, hey. This is what I love about Thai petrol stations. Alright, gonna have my coffee and uh, head off to Don Sat Pier. Hey guys, so we are right now on the way to Don Sat Pier and uh, that's where we catch the ferry to get to Koh Samoy. So it's a really long straight road. The coast is right over there, we can't see it. Yeah. Uh, today is a little bit mellow because it's cloudy. Uh, so yeah, just gonna take an easy drive there. Yeah. So we took a little stop at this absolutely beautiful scene. This is unplanned for, right? And this is why we drive, right? Because it's not about arriving at the destination, it's enjoying the journey. Alright, since we have all the cars over here, let's uh, take a look at the cars here. So, Crispy brought his uh, trusty old faithful Waja. And then uh, Dylan brought his E300 Cabriolet. The Cappuccino is here. Right. Uh, Jigu in his Lotus Elise Magnet. This car is well used. Look at that. Properly used. Okay. <laughs> look at that garland. So cool. And the, the passenger seats are gone. Well, rate reduction, right? Safe patrol. MX-5, RF, okay, and of course I got my M2 competition and then Rogers Lexus SC430 which is a luxury boat on convertibles and then Baldwin with his big old Sorrento Alright, so take a look at this little place I'm not sure what this place is called, I'll put a link in the description below so you know where to come and stop by Freaking amazing So when this here, I don't even know what the name is, but oh look, starfishes! Oh, poor thing, I think they're dead. <laughs> I hope not. I wonder how they got up over here, but, anyways, I just wanted to share a phrase that my trading mentor posted on his Facebook post this morning. It's a it's sort of a semi long post, but uh, it says, Life is freehold. No, life is not freehold, life is actually leasehold. Right, so in terms of property, freehold means you own it forever and this hole, you own it for a short period of time and that's actually really true, isn't it? What I got out of it is, you know, sometimes we, I mean I do this, you know, we get too obsessed over something, maybe you're trying to save more money or trying to, you know, just 
too like you get too focused on something that and, and then we forget that actually all of these are temporary. You know? So go out, live a little bit, love a little bit more, forgive a little bit more, have more fun, be more kind, you know, or stop tolerating the things that you don't tolerate anymore in your life, you know. Maybe it's for yourself. Maybe you have a habit that you don't like. You stop tolerating it. Just give it up and just live. Right? Or maybe you have someone that you want to call and say I'm sorry or you know, want to tell them I love you. you no, know, do it. Because who really knows how much time we have? Right? Yeah, no one knows. So just sort of take, take every moment to savor it. Live a little bit more. Right? Get back to my car and uh, see if the guys are leaving right now. Okay, for some reason, this guy thinks he's entitled to this parking space. Later. Okay, uh, guys, normally we review cars, but today we're going to review an uh, ice cream. Alright, dang, 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 dang. Whoa! Whoa. 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 Only 45 baht. 45 baht, huh? Yeah. Alright, all it tastes like. Moment of truth. Is it cheddar? Is it brie? Is it camembert? It's vanilla ice cream. But, <laughs> no, with a bit of cheese, yes. Ah, what kind of cheese? Don't know. Got, uh, <laughs> bro. <laughs> uh, blue cheese uh, from 1975. Oh, 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 oh great vintage. Yeah, I know that vintage. Very good vintage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good. Hey guys, so we're currently at Don Suck Pier. We made it just in time, 30 minutes before the ferry. Take note if you are taking the ferry, you have to be here 30 minutes before uh, the ferry departs. Alright? So uh, the other thing that you need to know is that if you're a uh, passenger, you have to come down and uh, go in the ferry yourself and only one driver can be in the car. Alright, so so far it's actually been alright. You know, the drive is pretty smooth, roads are very nice in Thailand. Yeah, really pretty. Nice views and like nice turns. I like this a lot. I'm so glad that uh, I decided to come along. Uh, Baldwin and Adrian asked me to come and I was reluctant at first. But uh, it's having a lot of fun. Yeah, I did promise myself that after the borders open up, I should drive more, right? Because you never know when you're going to get a chance to drive again. And, uh, you know, just take whatever's in front of you, right? <laughs> right so we are all waiting for here to open up. Baldwin, Baldwin yourself, are you here? Yeah! Okay, it looks like we're finally getting on board on the ferry we're going to Koh Samoy So the whole trip will be around one and a half hours, I think so, Thank you Alright, something to take note See how uh, Roger's car is going through there You shouldn't be bringing cars with very low clearance and the M2 competition has a pretty decent clearance. So, we'll make two. Right. So, great note to take. Right, for cars, sports cars, yeah. Right. Oh, this is a little scary. Oh, yes, yes, yes. We are here. So, we rode on the ferry and we are getting over to Koh Samoy. Look at it. It's the first time ever doing this. Look how small the cappuccino is. Hey, good. That's small, eh? Yeah. It's not too bad, yeah. Hey guys, so as you can see, we have just touched down or docked at uh, Koh Samoy and we are on the way to a hotel. Yes, we are finally on our final leg of our journey. My friends, we are here at Koh Samoy. After one and a half hours of ferry ride. You know, the, the tip to the ferry ride is that if you are uh, seasick prone like me, sit inside in the front and do not go out. I tried going out and it didn't work well for me. Yeah, another tip for you, eat something probably half an hour to an hour before. Okay, when you get into so it gets digested and go into your intestine, so it's not in your stomach. Eat something savory as well, it actually helps.
Hey guys, we are here at what we call Grandpa and Grandma Rock. And I only googled it up and found out that the reason they call this place Grandpa and Grandma Rock is because there are rocks that look like the male genitalia and the female genitalia. I don't know if YouTube will ban me from this, but uh, it's the Grandpa Rock, I assume. Okay. <laughs> Standing in alert towards the sea. Let's look for Grandma Rock. Wait, is that, is that possibly it? No, okay. Right, we gotta look for it. Okay, Jigu Shure says that this is the... This is the... Mm. Uh, I don't know. Oh, it looks like too much. I don't think it looks like a female genitalia too much. Okay lah. Got some resemblance of it. Yeah, yeah, got some semblance of it. It shows that we're very dirty my la. <laughs> my oh my Chris. <laughs> You're really enjoying yourself. They hunt you. Check out the little cove over here. Yeah. Look at that. So peaceful here. So that's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. And in the next one, we do our longest drive from Koh Samoy to Hat Yai via Trang. This is a must visit road if you are here. Also, I put up a video on what to pack for your trip to Thailand, a little tutorial or checklist if you ever plan to visit in the future. Be sure to check that out as well. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for future contents and hit the bell notification to get an alert. And also, please help me hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode. I got a chihuahua there. Look at that. Hello, chihuahua. Hello. So cute. Look at that. Hi, chihuahua. Hello. Ignoring me. Anyways, we're here at Real Weight Restaurant. Let's see. Excuse me.